Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss the packet tracer activity, DHCP and DNS servers. In this activity, we will configure static IPv4 addressing. Uh, also, we will configure and verify DNS records. So friends, uh, before coming to this activity, uh, if you are watching our channel first time or if not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. And don't forget to enable that bell icon near the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Right, so coming to part 1, configure static IPv4 addressing. In step 1, configure the inkjet printer with static IPv4 addressing. Right, coming to our topology, uh, in this uh, home office, uh, we can see our inkjet printer. The home office computers need to know the printer's IPv4 address uh, to send information to it. The printer, therefore, must use a static, that is unchanging, IPv4 address. Correct. Usually, uh, for servers or uh, printers, we set a static IPv4 address, uh, not a DHCP uh, address. I mean, automatic IP address. Click Inject and click the Config tab, which displays the global settings. Then statically assign the gateway address as 192.168.0.1 and the DNS server address as 64.100.8.8. We will go to Inject. Here we can see Config tab. And here we can see global settings. So we will assign uh, IP address uh, statically. Here we can see that option. Gateway or uh, DNS IPv4. So we'll go to this uh, static option and we will get this IP address from here. Gateway. Then here we can see the DNS uh, server address. Next, click Fast Ethernet 0 and statically assign the IP address as 192.168.0.2 and the sub subnet to mask address as uh, slash 24. Then close the inject window. Here we can see the tab Fast Ethernet 0. We will click on it. Now we will assign IP address as specified here. We will copy this address. And here we can see IP address. Then the submit to mask. Then we will uh, close close this uh, inkjet window. Now we will go to step two. Configure WRS to provide DHCP services. Click WRS and click the GUI tab and maximize the window. Coming to our topology in this uh, home office, uh, here we can see uh, WRS. Uh, we will click on it. And coming to GUI. Then the basic setup window displays by default. Configure the following settings in the network setup section. Uh, so here we can see now we are in a basic setup. Correct. Now we will uh, configure the these following uh, settings. Uh, change the IP address to 192.168.0.1. Here we can change that 0.1. Okay. And here the submit to mask 255.255.255.255. .255 .255. Okay, enable the DHCP server. So here we can see uh, DHCP server settings. Uh, it's by default disabled, so we will enable it. Then uh, set the static DNS1 address to 64.100.8.8. Okay, here we can see that static DNS1. So we will set that IP address here. 64.100 dot eight dot eight 
then uh, scroll to the bottom and click save then close the uh, WRS window okay right so we will uh, scroll down and uh, here we can see save settings then we will uh, close this window now we will come to step 3 request DHCP addressing for the home laptop this activity focuses on the home office the clients that you will configure with the DHCP are home laptop and tablet in our topology we can see uh, those devices home laptop here we can see that and uh, tablet it's here now click home laptop and click the desktop tab IP configuration then click DHCP and wait until the DHCP request is successful now we will go to our home laptop we will go to desktop IP configuration and here we can see uh, in this IP configuration DHCP we will click on this DHCP and we will wait for the IP address here we can see DHCP request successful uh, here we can see the IP address 192.168.0.100 submit to mask default gateway and DNS server home laptop should now have a full IP configuration if not return to step 2 and verify your configurations on WRS yes so we received IP address from our uh, WRS now close the IP configuration window and then close the home laptop window right now we will go to step 4 request DHCP addressing for the tablet click tablet and click the desktop tab IP configuration click DHCP and wait until the DHCP request is successful tablet should now have a full IP configuration if not return to step 2 and verify your configurations on WRS uh, we will get the uh, address uh, from our uh, DHCP we will verify that we will go to our tablet desktop IP configuration and here we will select DHCP requesting IP address and here we can see the details IP address it's 101 submit to mask default gateway and DNS server is yes. it's assigned now we will go to step 5 test access to websites close the IP configuration window and then uh, click web browser okay uh, so we have to go to tablet and we have to go to web browser in the URL box type 10.10.10.2 for the central server website or 64.100.200.1 for the branch server website so here we can see uh, those uh, servers in central we have central server and here in branch we have branch server okay so we are going to access uh, either of it then we have to click go both the websites should appear okay we will go to a tablet and here we can see our web browser we will uh, copy this IP address IP address for the central server and uh, we will uh, paste it here then press go so here we can see central server uh, if it is not working we can give this a uh, fast forward then we will go to the next website uh, it's a branch server website we will copy this IP address okay in the URL we will paste it go here we can see branch server next reopen the web browser test the names for those same websites by entering central server.pt.pka and branch server.pt.pka click on fast forward time on the yellow bar below the topology to speed the process okay now we are going to give this a domain name instead of IP address for the central server as well as for the branch server so here for the central server we will use this uh, domain name we will close it and we will go back to web browser so here we got host name unresolved okay we will try this uh, domain name close and we will go back to web browser 
go host name unresolved so now we will come to part 2 configure records on the dns server so once you configure this uh, we can see we will be able to access uh, these websites using this uh, domain name coming to step 1 configure famous.dns.pka with records for central server and branch server typically dns records are registered with the companies but for the purposes of this activity uh, you control uh, the famous.dns.pka server on the internet okay uh, click the internet cloud a new network displays then click famous.dns.pka and click the services tab then go to dns so here we can see our internet we will click on it here is the internet cloud and inside we can see uh, uh, the other devices so here we can see our uh, uh, server famous.dns.pka it's here now we will uh, click on this uh, famous.dns.pka server then we will go to uh, services tab here we can see that and uh, here we can see dns we will click on this dns Now add the following resource records. Here we can see resource record name and its address. So we will add this. We will copy this resource record name. Here is that. Then we have to specify the address. It's here. Then we have to add it. So coming to the second one. And the address. add it now close the famous dns.pka window click back to exit the internet cloud okay so we, here we can see the back button so that we can exit from the uh, cloud right okay coming to step two verify the ability of client computers to use dns now that you have configured DNS records, home laptop and tablet should be able to access the websites by using the names instead of the IP addresses. First, check that the DNS client is working properly and then verify access to the website. For that, uh, click home laptop or tablet. If the web browser is open, close it and select command prompt. So we will select our home laptop. Okay, here we will open command prompt. Then verify the IPv4 addressing by entering the command ipconfig space forward slash all. You should see the IP address for the DNS server. We can verify that here. ipconfig all. And here we can see the details. IP address, submit to mask. And here we can see the default gateway and here is DNS servers. Now ping the DNS server at 64.100.8.8 to verify connectivity. Okay, we can do that. We will uh, copy this uh, DNS server address to ping. Ping to our uh, DNS server. Here is the IP address. It works. They given a note. The first two or three pings may fail as packet tracer uh, simulates all the various processes that must occur for successful connectivity to a remote resource. Anyway, uh, it's working everything here fine. Now, test the functionality of the DNS server by entering the commands nslookup central server.pt.pka and nslookup branch server.pt.pka should get a name resolution showing the IP address for each so we can do that here we have to give better we will copy this command here we will paste it and here we can see the address here we can see the name and its address now we will uh, try this command brand server dot pt dot pka here we can see the name 
and here we can see the IP address. Now close the command prompt window and you click web browser. Verify that a home laptop or tablet can now access the web pages for central server and branch server. Okay, we will close this command prompt and we will go to web browser and we will give this uh, domain name. First of all, we will uh, try this central server. Go. We can see now uh, it is working. We will go to the second one, branch server. We will copy this URL coming to web browser. Go brand server it is working yes that's all in this packet tracer activity dhcp and dns servers here we can see the completion status of this uh, activity 100 out of 100 so friends just stay tuned for the future videos and we will meet again with the next video thank you